segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. We are here with Nikki Campbell, a health educator at the Utah Department of Health, to tell us about Lead Poisoning Prevention Week and how we can all raise awareness for lead hazards and blood lead uh, lead testing. That is, uh, of course, probably the biggest situation we've seen was back in Detroit or Flint, Michigan, when they, when they had those problems. Around here, you know, I kind of think, yeah, we don't really have that problem, but we do. We sure do. So lead poisoning is actually the most preventable childhood mm -hmm. illness in the United States. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have informed us there are actually half a million children living with it across the United States, not just in Michigan. People oftentimes think it is from the water, but it's from lead paint dust or um, from the soil outside. We used to have lead in our gasoline, which of course went into the soil. Um, to safeguard your children, of course you want to use warm soapy water. Um, children under the age of three are considered the highest risk. Yeah, they've always got their hands in their mouths. So they, they eat more uh, as, as far as body weight goes than you know adults. I mean, they're always eating, and so I guess that's probably one of the main things. That's true. Children under the age of six, pound for pound, eat more food, drink more water, and breathe more air than adults. Um, those under the age of three are considered the highest risk because they do have that hand-to-mouth behavior in addition to those factors. Because of that, if your home was built before 1978, you'll want to safeguard your home, again, by what I mentioned, um, warm soapy water on windowsills, floors, their hands, and their toys. Um, the same considerations go for their child care centers if they spend a lot of time at a grandparent's home and if that home if was... the home is older. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so, what happens if, uh, well I want to talk about testing. It's probably important to have your child tested because a lot of kids are not tested for it. Exactly. The Centers for Disease Control's report of 500,000 children living in the United States with lead. Um, the reason there are so many children with high blood lead levels is because it oftentimes does go undetected. Mm. Um, the only way to know is through a blood lead test, which may sound scary or inconvenient, but I've actually had it done myself. It's a simple finger prick test and you can have results in as few as Just that minutes. easy. And, and, and uh, what happens if there is lead poisoning? What, what does it do? It attacks the nervous system, kidneys, and brain, so unfortunately it can cause lifelong impacts to um, learning disabilities, um, aggression, yeah. delayed, um, delayed learning, as well as um, bone density loss and muscle loss. Yeah, very it can cause seizures at higher levels or even death, which is why it's so important to catch it early. Very, test. very serious. Where's a good source that people can go to to get more information? Um, the Centers for Disease Control, of course, have a great website, and then we have um, information on our Utah Department of Health website, okay. and the American um, Academy of Pediatrics is also great as well. All right. Nikki, thank you very much for that. We uh, appreciate it. Great information. Now let's head on over to meteorologist Chase Thompson.